Although leaders at the G20 Economic Summit pledged to increase lending to poor countries, monetary officials warn they are still struggling to nail down commitments for the additional $1 trillion in funding. Finance ministers who met in London now are discussing details ahead of the International Monetary Fund meeting in Washington, D.C. U.S. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner told the Economic Club in Washington this week that cooperation among countries will be key for any lasting recovery. So we're not all in the same boat, but we're surely in the same storm. Today's crisis is unlike any we've experienced for seven decades. Dampening any positive outlook is the International Monetary Fund's projection this week of a 1.3 percent contraction of the global economy. Many of the world's largest economies face similar dour forecasts. British Finance Minister Alastair Darling unveiled Britain's budget this week and predicted that the country's economy will shrink by 3.5 percent in 2009. Mr. Deputy Speaker, today's budget will take Britain through the most serious global economic turmoil for over 60 years. And so, finance officials are gathering for the IMF and World Bank semi-annual meeting in Washington, bolstered by this month's agreement by world leaders to help combat the crisis. But IMF Managing Director Dominique Strauss-Kahn said he has not yet lined up $500 billion that G20 nations had pledged toward additional lending. And he issued a warning about the economy. And despite a mixed situation, our belief is that uh, the crisis uh, is far from over. The IMF and World Bank are tackling issues ranging from stimulus spending to expanding voting shares to non-Western countries and trade protection. World Bank President Robert Zellick says despite promises from world leaders, countries are increasingly tempted to enact protectionist policies. Since that G20 meeting, less than three weeks ago, nine G20 countries have taken or are considering 23 measures that restrict trade at the expense of other countries. That's almost half of the G20 member states. As the global economy continues to contract, Zellick says developing countries are carrying a heavy burden. The head of the IMF did suggest that if the correct policies are put in place, the world economy could begin a turnaround in the first half of 2010. Julia Ritchie, VOA News.